Hey everybody, welcome back to Luigi's Mansion. Okay, in the last episode we completed the art studio and we beat Vincent van Gogh and I was a little disappointed that I wasn't able to get gold rank on him but when I looked back on the footage what I saw was that during the um, gauntlet that you do before um, you fight the artist with the sort of regular ghosts my health had actually dropped below 90% or whatever it is. And so what that meant was that it wouldn't have been possible for me to get gold rank on him anyway. Even if I had got the big pearl, even if I had done 90% of his HP in one run when I was vacuum him. Um, so that actually wasn't a possibility at all. Nevertheless, I am still relatively disappointed that I wasn't able to get that big pearl because that would have been nice. Maybe I'll do um, a follow-up video. Maybe I'll record something on my backup file and I'll do that. Uh, and I'll make a video um, showing me maybe even getting gold rank. I don't know. We'll see on that boss because... You know, well, not necessarily gold rank, but, you know, if I, I'm not concerned whatsoever about coins, I might do better. Um, anyway, in this episode, a bit more relevant, what we're going to be doing is we are going to be getting all of the booze in the attic, or floor three, or whatever you want to call it. I'm going to get a drink again because my voice is getting um, croaky. Anyway, as I explained... Uh, the last time I did this, uh, the reason that I'm getting the booze at this point rather than as soon as I light up the rooms is because the booze on that floor all have very high HPs, uh, except for one. And the result of that is that it's very difficult to vacuum them up um, immediately after you get them out of the room. So they tend to fly into all the other rooms that you don't have unlocked yet. Um, and it's so much easier just to, um, what was I saying? It's so much easier just to leave them and come back once you've got all the rooms lit up, because once you've got all the rooms lit up, then you can go through them all freely, and, you know, if, if you don't have all the rooms lit up and a boo goes into a room, um, then you might have to wait for ages until... Uh, you get the key for that particular room that it's gone into. So that's why it's more convenient to do it at this point. Um, I said exactly the same thing when we did the booze in the basement because um, I did an episode on that as well and they have very high HP. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to get on with it. I'll see you when I'm up there. Okay, so this first room up here, the safari room, the boo in here doesn't have too high HP because this room is actually an area 3 room, not an area 4 room. Um, and the boo's HP seems to be mostly dictated by the area that they're in. Um, it is sometimes um, on the floor that they're on as well, but fortunately he went back in there. I <laughs> would have had to have gone across the whole balcony otherwise. Yeah, we should have this guy now. Yeah, we already watered all of the plants and got the treasure from them. Um, yeah, as I said last time, I'm going to be um, cancelling this because... What was the reason? Yeah, because in case the recording messes up, um, I'm not going to have it saved. Uh, also, if you are playing the European version of the game, you could have just got that boo um, back when we actually did this room, back when there were ghosts in it and we cleaned them up. If you have got the ghosts back then, then you could have just got the ones down in the basement and then you wouldn't have to worry about any of the booze up here because we now have enough to do the final boss. We've got 45 mm. and we've also got the key so we could go on to do the final boss right now. I'm not going to obviously, I'm going to get the um, 
five remaining boos, but um, that's all you need for minimal completion of this game. If you are going for maximum completion, you will obviously want to get all the other boos. Um, and I am going to go on to the telephone room now. So I'm kind of doing these boos in these rooms in terms of, um... Uh, in order of the, um... Uh, in order of the rooms, um, the order that they got unlocked. So this one would have been the next one that we'd have access to after doing the safari room. <coughs> Let's find the ghost in here. Stop moving around. Oh, wait. Ah, there we go. See, he's got 300. I think the, the, uh, them all, all of them up here are... No, coins, 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 coins. Um, they're all going to have 300. Is he still in here? I think he left. I think they're all going to have 300. Did he go across this way? No. Hmm. Maybe he went into... the room that's behind it. Because I don't think he went out the right wall. Huh. He's probably hidden in them by this point. Anyway, um, moving on. We'll get them all eventually. If I can find it. Okay, now this is a new one. Yeah, you can see why this is going to be an absolute nightmare if you don't have all of these rooms unlocked. And they're all like this. They'll go like across the entire floor. Money, 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 money. I didn't get before. I'm on one thousand three hundred thirty-three coins. That's cool. I think I got what was in there. I think that one was notes. Wow, that wasn't a surprise. Into Jarvis's room. Jarvis was really easy. Like, I haven't actually checked most of the light fittings since... Well, I'm gonna... Oh, maybe he's gone. I think that one didn't have anything in it. Thing you should never forget is to check the light fittings. Anyway, um, you can't use ice to freeze these guys, which is silly because you could do that. Could do that in the Bulosis fight. But then that would make it extremely easy if you could just freeze them and vacuum them up. No, 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 not my coins, not my coins, anything but my coins. Got them. Come on, this must be it, this must, yeah. Ok, 
Okay, I'm gonna check the um, clockwork room and see if there's still a ghost in there because if there is, that will be where uh, the one that was in this room will have gone. Mm -hmm. Apparently there is. So it, this is either going to be the, the boo from the telephone room or there's just like a leftover um, boo placebo thing. No, it is. So this is where he went. Uh, and now we're going to have great fun chasing him about. Oh, not... Hey. How comes they could still be here if we already... How can you be here? We... We got rid of Van Gogh. There should... It should be impossible for you to even exist because we killed Van Gogh, so... Okay, that's something the developers overlooked. Unless there's still a... A yellow... A ghost painting lying around somewhere in the mansion that didn't get erased during that gauntlet. Anyway, he went in here, but he's hidden himself. Fantastic. Well, I guess we'll just move on to doing the boo in this room, seeing as this is chronologically next. The last thing I check. Typical. Okay, so this one's only got 150. Okay, this is getting old now. <laughs> and EGAD will continue giving you these useless hints that you should already know by this point. Anyway, the last place is in here, and there should be two of these bastards in here. Okay, so this is the... No, 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 not, not my coin. Okay, he's gone somewhere already. But there's still another one. A gold bar? Must have been one that I overlooked last time I was here. I'm not complaining. I wonder how much treasure there actually is in here that I have just overlooked or it hasn't spawned because it does that stupid thing where it doesn't spawn. There's still more in here? It's just going to be a bomb or something. Yeah. Okay, hmm. so that guy has gone back in here. I think this one was the boo that was originally from here. 
Or maybe he was from the clockwork room, I don't remember. Come on, that was unfair. So I really hope you can appreciate how much easier it is to do this on on um where the hell is he gone? I was doing he was outside the mansion and I was still Okay, whatever. So, one more left and that is the one in the artist studio. Right, now, before I get this last, um, ghost, um, I haven't been saving when I've been picking these ghosts up, and that's purely because I'm recording. If I were playing normally, I would have saved after every single one of them. This last one, however, the last boo you catch, it doesn't matter if it's this one or a different one, if it's the 50th boo, you do not want to save after you collect it. No matter if you're recording or if you're not recording or anything, do not save afterwards. And there's a very specific reason why, which I will show you after we get it. If I can find it. Ah, hold on, my leg has gone, well, my foot rather has gone completely dead. I've been sitting on it. Okay, that's a bit better. Right, where is this guy? Oh, I haven't checked the fixing yet. Well, apparently there's nothing. Come on, he's gotta be somewhere. What? Why is that not? I don't... Well, what is it that's setting off the thing? Oh. I wasn't aiming high enough then. It's in the stool. Okay. And he's French, presumably because the uh, portrait ghost here was French. So close now. I think he's just going to go in and out of this room. He can go into the clockwork room. Um, I've seen that happen before. I, but it looks like he's pretty much set on flying in and out of this room, so. I'm okay with that, it means I don't have to go through the balcony again. And obviously, um, well not obviously, but it's also best not to get him if you can help him if, if you can if you can help it when he's behind those um, paintings this should be it there we go and as you can see we got another gold diamond for doing that that is the reason that you didn't want to save because if you had saved with egad and then um, 
something had happened to the system um, before you could get to a save toad, then you'd have lost that gold diamond forever because you'd have collected the 50th boo, but you wouldn't have collected the golden diamond. So if you sh would turn your console off after that, or if the power went out, or if your console died, or anything along those lines, uh, what would happen basically is that you'd have getting the 50th boo saved, but you wouldn't have getting the gem saved, and you can only get the gem from getting the 50th boo, so there'd be no way that you could ever get it again. Um, which, um, that's, uh, I suppose, technically another oversight on the part of the developers. Um, they, they probably just didn't think about it. Uh, hang on a sec. But anyway, that is... Uh, I'm going to go and save, actually, because I don't... I want to save all my progress for obvious reasons. That's what you do when you're playing games. So, that is the last of the boos. That means we've got everything in the game, except for maybe a few bits of treasure that are still left around here and there. Uh, the only thing left is what's in that last room. Uh, there's a final boss down there. Um, but otherwise, that's it. This is... Um, it's, it's kind of difficult to believe that, you know, my first LP is almost over. I mean, as I keep on saying, I've been doing it for so many months. I think maybe that's why it's so hard to actually grasp is just because I've been doing it for so long and it's just become something that I'm used to but um, yeah this is uh, close to the end in the next episode we go after the final boss so I will see you then